Hi, I'm Jaren Steele, and I'm here with uh, John Solzicki, uh, here for uh, Butler Blue Sox tonight. I'm going to ask a few questions here. Uh, right. First thing I wanted to ask you is, I, I hear your parents are in town, Yeah. and uh, I heard they had an interesting way of getting here, so uh, can you uh, talk about how they got here? <laughs> yeah. And, what it's like to have them in town. Yeah, it was a funny story. Leo, I uh, just got to the park. I didn't even have my shoes on yet. And Leo goes, uh, we're so sick. We need a, uh, we have an interviewer here to talk to him about the interview. And he's like, yeah, I want to talk about uh, NCAA postseason play. I'm like, right now? All right. He, he actually got me with it. And he was talking to me the whole time, trying to keep my mind off, you know, the interview being here. <laughs> so I maybe like think about it not being true. And uh, he's like, yep, he's right in here. And he knocks on the door, opened up, my parents are in there. And they're just sitting there like, oh, like, what the heck? It was, a, it was a good surprise. It's good to see him here. They're only here for two nights, but it's nice seeing them. Yeah, it's big, especially since you're on the road all summer. You, guys, oh, yeah. you probably don't get to see them very often. Right? No. Okay. Um, uh, you went to the All-Star game out in Quincy. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about what that weekend was like? Uh, it was fun. Long bus ride. We'll be doing that tonight, you know, yeah. 13, 12, 13 hours. But it was fun, you know. Uh, we got there and it rained. So, you know, their field crew just broke their backs getting that field ready, you know, all that quick dry and whatnot. And, you know, they had everything we needed there. They had lunch, you know, they gave us shirts, hats, our nice plaques. The commissioner was there. It was warm welcome by the whole town. And they got the game on home and derby as well. And it was a fun night. We got to meet guys on other teams as well. Hey, so you're from Connecticut. Well, you go to school in Connecticut. Yep. Uh, there's a couple kids on the team from Pittsburgh, Duggan and Smith, and there's one from Villanova and Siaka. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's it been like playing with guys? This summer that you are on the same team, but this fall you guys are going to be opponents again. Uh, it's fun, you know. You play them, you know, at school, and you don't, you really don't want to know anything about them. You don't care. You just want to beat them. But now that you're on the same team, you get to know them. You know, you see that they're just like you are, down earth guys, you know, and they're all their own person. It's fun. I mean, once we go up to school, we'll, you know, be playing again. We want to, you know, beat each other bad. But for right now, we're teammates, and we all get along real well. Okay. Um, you talked about the bus rides. Yeah. Long bus rides. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys don't do that in college, do you? Uh, no. If it's, I believe if it's over three and a half hours, you have to fly. I think it's a Big East rule. So three and a half is you know, the most. The most we'll get like on a midweek day. Okay, so it's probably been a pretty big adjustment riding the bus for 10 hours and then playing it like six hours later. Uh, oh yeah. Is that worn on you guys at all? Or? Um, not really. The biggest thing is just managing your sleep. You know, if you get on a bus after a game, you gotta go to sleep. You can't be up all night because by the time four o'clock comes around the next day for BP, you're dragging. So you really gotta, you know, manage your sleep well, know when to get your rest. And the bus isn't that bad as long as you, you know, catch up on sleep. Okay, are you able to get some sleep on the bus? Uh, that's probably a little tough. Yeah, there's 25 guys and they're all finding a nook and cranny to get somewhere comfortable. A lot of guys <laughs> go on the floor. Some guys are under seats. You just see legs everywhere. But everyone manages somehow to find sleep. What do you, okay, you play baseball a lot, obviously. But, yep. uh, what are some of the things you do other than playing baseball when you're not on the field? Uh, well, I live with uh, JJ Boy, and uh, our host family is awesome. We got three little kids, a pond and back. So I'm not a big fisherman, but this summer we have the pond and back. So whenever I'm not here, I'm fishing. We haven't really got a chance to go see the uh, Pittsburgh area yet, but our off days we just you know, enjoy having the day off, you know, relax, play with the kids, and go fishing. We have a pool too. Everyone just kind of, you know, we have big plans on off days, but when it actually comes, the best thing to do is just relax, get away from the game a little bit, and, you know, just recharge the engines. Okay, the last thing I wanted to ask you is about uh, the rest of the season. Uh, you guys, you play pretty much every day. And yeah. Must be a lot of help for your college season coming up. Like, what are some oh, yeah. of the things you'd like to get out of the rest of your time here? Uh, well, as a team, we're not hitting right now. I mean, every team goes through a slump, so any time soon when we break out of that would be great. And really, all we can do now is just keep playing hard, you know, get as many reps as we can. I think everyone's worked on what they needed to up to this point. You know, everyone comes with an individual thing they need to work on, but now it's just repetition, playing as much as we can so that when college comes, you know, you're not out of funk, you know, like away from the game. So it's playing as much as we can and the repetitions is best for us. All right, thanks. Good luck. All right, thank you. Season.